No, it, that is All right. Okay, thank you. It's it's we do have it. Have it. <laughs> it's just like yeah, we got a new caller. Uh, yes, caller. I believe this is Joshua. What's going on, Joshua? Uh, nothing much, man. I I, I really had no much to say. Um, I I only uh, you know, I I, I was once a follower of the Army Lodge Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? So um, uh, and, and two, I woke up. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, but uh, you know, like I said. <laughs> Where it is, is where it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't have, uh, I try to, I, I still try to respect the teaching, but I, I, I did just wake up. You know what I mean? So, and I understood there's a difference between uh, uh, someone with theories and uh, with their own way of teaching, et cetera. I realized that what I, I, I found companies that I felt that was a little more truthful and sound and I can explain it and, and I can show it and I got proof of it. You see. So but other than that, brother, I I, I, I appreciate you. Um uh and I and I will always be uh uh have respect and gratitude for the army of Muhammad. Muhammad. It, it doesn't matter what my personal family bar, or, or what I found out, but I was still happy that respect for him. Period. But uh, not to argue with that respect. But, but thanks. Well, I'm going to tell you. All right. I have said this to many of those who were with me that uh, you better be glad you were here with me. Because if you had been around when the messenger was here and in the nation, you probably wouldn't have been able to stay there. Because the nation was the nation was honeycombed with hypocrites. The messenger said that. No, come on. And um, well, uh, the, you know, if you had been in the nation, you wouldn't say that. Uh, as the, the messenger said, the nation is honeycombed with hypocrites. And I've seen, I had seen people come in the nation that were talented. Some were doctors and there were professional people coming all the time and they would get ran away because of the envy and jealousy of people who were Maybe I'll let you talk since you you uh you can't seem to be quiet while I'm talking. Go ahead. I'll listen to you. Yep. Yeah, I think that's one of your guys. Yeah, that was somebody on your end, sir. I don't know. I think he was waiting on you or something. That was someone on your end. Well, I I'm I was talking to whoever that was making all that noise while I'm trying to uh talk. Uh, well, Carla, whoever made that noise, brother. go ahead and speak up right now. Uh, one thing you said about Wait, hold on, Gary. We're trying to straighten something out, right? Some, right somebody quick. said that, somebody. Yeah. Noise, somebody on, brother, suggested. Let, let us get it straight. So, so caller, if you got something to say, go ahead and uh, speak yeah. up right now. I mean, you you're doing this moaning and groaning like grunting. It's rough instead of uh, take them. Huh? It was grunting. Yeah. You don't. I guess you don't want to say nothing. Well, I tell you what. Well, we do have a question from our okay. chat room. All right. Uh, well, that's, they uh, say they can't call in over a computer. Either that or they're scared. But anyways, this is from Yakka <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. know okay with the thing Yakka Lion. But he says to the Son of Man, can you please explain the Son of Man? What, can, you, can you please explain Daniel chapter 9, verse 24 through 27? Daniel chapter 9. And verse 24 through 27. Verse 24, right, through 27. Well, and we got your Bible. Right. Chapter 9, verse 24 through 27. Verse 24. Yeah. It says, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, 
and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince shall be seven weeks and three score and two weeks. And uh, that is, uh, uh, when it says three score, that's 60. And uh, seven is seven, 67 plus uh, that first seven. Uh, know therefore, understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the prince shall be seven weeks and three score, which is 67, and two weeks, which is 69. The street shall be built again and the wall, even in troublous times. And after three score and two weeks shall the Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary and the end thereof shall be with the flood and unto the end of the war desolations are determined when you read that and think over how long it took after wd muhammad took over in the nation of islam uh it is uh it took him about that uh, that many weeks and it took me uh, uh, that long to get up and start a, um, I started a uh, flyer that uh, was called the Rising Sun. And I started that sometime in 76. And uh, WD took over in February of 75. And you know, it's 52 weeks in a year. So when you go to uh, 69 weeks, or as discounted, you notice WD changed the uh, Muhammad Speaks uh, after the first year almost, he started fading out the words Muhammad Speaks and fading in Bilalian News. And uh, after after that, there was actually no more Nation of Islam. He started calling everybody Bilalians and he, uh, as I recall, he started calling the nation the, the uh, body Christ for a while. And then he changed that and started calling it the world, world community of Al Islam in the West. But uh, they did away with the did away with the uh, the name Nation of Islam for a while. And uh, at the same time it set me in motion when he took over to try to figure out what I was supposed to be be doing. And it was about 70 weeks. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. okay. You know, I had um, never, brother, um, I had never really thought about that. You, I'm, you know, I'm glad you asked that. I had never really thought over that. So. All right. With that yeah. being said, we do have a new caller. Yes, caller. Uh, things are getting locked. Uh, two two nine. You're on air. Yeah, it is break. Hey, what's going on, break? Man, man, um, I just had a question about, um, well, what's going to happen in seven days, um, if people don't tighten up and do you have to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, cast all of those into hell who refuse to stop sowing dissension among the human family. I mean, it's wrong. Okay. If, if anybody should know, my brother, 
if anybody should know how wrong it is to hate and condemn a person because of their color, it should be us. We know how that feels. We know how that feels. We know how to be wrongly blamed and lied on because we are black. No, they're going to live. They're going to live. They're going to live their life with no peace at all. And in the daytime, they'll wish it. Was, oh. They'll wish it was night. And in the nighttime, they'll wish it was day. And they'll wish that they could sleep, and they won't be able to. No peace will they have because they seek to break the peace of human beings between human beings for no other reason than that they want to take advantage of the situation. You know, the biggest business on this planet is warfare. One fighter oh, jet, yeah. one fighter jet, uh, price tag, now, some of them price tag at $200 million. Last time, I, last time I checked, it was about 50 something uh, million, about 57 million. But now they got some more advanced fighter jets. I don't know what them B-1 bombers go for. But whenever one gets shot down, the manufacturers rejoice because they know he finna make, he know he finna make another uh, 200 and some million dollars. And every time they shoot off a, a missile, that's got to be replaced. So war is a big business. That's one of the biggest deceptions that the devil has uh, pulled over the uh, human family. Is that uh, they make one human being think that his brother is his enemy. So I'm giving you seven days to get out of that foolishness. And then I'm going to adjudicate it. Now that ain't, that ain't, that don't sound like nothing coming from a little nigger. That's what they see me as a nigger. It'll get real to them after a while. So, so you notice the soldiers that come back from war zones now, they have great mental problems. It is because you are doing something that God told you to stop in the day when he was present. And that is the day of the Lord. It says the Sabbath day, remember that day to keep it holy. And whosoever is found working in the Sabbath day shall surely be put to death. That means to confusion, to a state of mind. And, and if you wanna know what breaks your peace, you know what makes babies cry? I tell you what makes them cry. When something is bothering them that they don't know how to deal with, it makes them cry. That's the same thing that, that bothers grown folks. When something happens that they don't have a solution for, it breaks their peace and brings tears to their eyes after a while. There in hell, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And uh, so many people think hell is something that happened to you after you physically did. No, sir. No, ma'am. Heaven and hell is something that you experience while you live. You don't get no reward after you die. That's in Ecclesiastes, the ninth Ooh. chapter. In the ninth chapter of Ecclesiastes. Oh. It teaches you that you don't have no reward after you die. It says for the living, says for him, this is the ninth chapter of Ecclesiastes, and I'm going to go to the, uh, start at the fourth verse. It says for to him that is joined to all the living, for him that is joined to all the living, there is hope for a living dog is better than a dead lion. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. 
neither have they any more a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. So there ain't no such thing as, All right. as getting a reward after you did. The only reward you get after death All is right. the only reward you get after death is after you spiritually die and you are resurrected from spiritual death. Then you get reward. But as far as, no court, all right. as, as, far as physical death. Okay, oh, yes, no, real quick, then we're going to, then we're going to 716 after, after that. 